Castle Pie logo, ladies and gentlemen, another Call of Duty game leaked out. In fact, we know that it's gonna be returning to Black Ops. It's returning to Black Ops. It is happening, my brothers. It is happening. Okay, apparently we know that it's gonna be Gulf War. We also do have the leaked images, which leaked out last year, so it's not anything new. But the new information here is that we have more leaks, apparently. Bruh. We got a lot more leaks, and a ton of Call of Duty devs got mad. Not necessarily because of the leaks, though. There's, like, entire drama going around with, with the Game Awards. Uh, Y'all suckers have been talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's mad except for the toxic gamers. The gamers are not mad. The gamers are going in. Gamers getting their popcorn right now. Gamers are celebrating. Gamers are uh, passing this news around like it was Tic Tacs, like we used to pass Tic Tacs in public bathroom. Yeah. Some of you are super young, so you don't get the joke. Some of you are like, hey, Skizzle, I see what you're saying, man. I see what you're saying. And if you know what I'm saying, drop a like. Even if you do not know what I'm saying, drop a like, Kaji. But check this out, right? First of all, let's start off with the drama. It's a, it's a storyline. It's gonna build, okay? And we're gonna talk about the leaks. There's a new map coming out. Warzone got leaked Bruh. as well. We're gonna talk about it. So last night, this was the best, hands down, one of the best moments in gaming history at the Game Awards because this is a God of War actor, Christopher Judge. This is what he said on Call of Duty. Roll it. No eight minute speech like last year. But fun fact, my speech was actually longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. Ow. Whoa! <laughs> this happened dead ass last night, okay? It dead ass happened last night, okay? And this was arguably one of the best moments because other than that, the Game Awards was super lame. Yeah, we had some reveals. They, they were decent, okay? Let's let's not joke about it. But it's just that dog. After seeing that GTA 6 trailer, nothing hits the same, bruh. Nothing hits the same. My dopamine receptors, they're no longer the same, okay? Th that GTA 6 trailer effed me up, dog. It effed me up. Nothing is hyping me up. Simple, okay? But Game Awards, other than that, was good. But Jeff Keighley wasn't even letting any devs do any talking, bruh. There's like a whole lot of conspiracies, a whole lot of drama with that, where he was letting uh, basically all the celebrities talk, but not the game devs. So we're not gonna touch on that. But then quickly after this happened, then we have the, the devs. Uh, the devs actually went in gang gang. They got big mad. Charlie Intel came out with their pitch and forks. They said that several current and former Call of Duty devs have all show called out Christopher Judge for his comment at the Game Awards saying Modern Warfare 3 probably destroys all God of War games combined in sales and player metric. <laughs> this is what the Call of Duty devs are saying, and I swear to God, man, these sons of female dogs, these twats have the audacity. So one dev actually says this funny, but yeah, the metric that Call of Duty absolutely destroys all the God of War games probably combined TBH in uh, is also equally laughable, if not more. Okay. Another dev says that imagine having short user engagement once your game is consumed can really Haha, <laughs> hashtag game award. Mm -mm, ee -ee, I'm strong, I'm in your pain. Uh, it's like those blue hair devs. I mean, duh, obviously. God of War is a niche game, it's only on PlayStation. Meanwhile, Call of Duty is on all the platforms. It's on your mama, it's on the PS3, PS2, PlayStation 1, PS4, PlayStation 20, Soldier Boy, KFC console. It's on everything, bruh. So, duh, obviously. And it's a multiplayer game on top. God of War is not a multiplayer game. It's a different game. And Christopher Judge, it was a lighthearted joke. He didn't even, he didn't even, bruh, like he just twisted your nipples, bro. Bruh. That's it. That's all. Meanwhile, Yalsuk has got uh, cameras. At one point, you had, this is uh, directly coming from the state of California lawsuit. It was mentioned in that, that Yalsuk has had cameras installed in public bathroom. <laughs> They were catching coochie! They were catching coochie! And meanwhile, Christopher Judge is just twisting your guys' nipples, just trying to make fun of the situation. I mean, damn, bro. Another dev says that, honestly, as Call of Duty devs, we've heard way worse. But we don't expect it from a peer at an event. Okay, yeah, understandable. Uh, at an event that's supposed to be celebrating this year's achievements in gaming, especially with all the information that was leaked about its development. I mean, bruh, bruh. Son. I mean, damn, bro, yeah! Everybody was, uh, uh, you know, celebrating the achievements in gaming, but your game didn't do anything. It didn't even achieve anything. That's why they didn't celebrate, bruh. Ow. Oh! 
simple as that, bro. Simple as that. Had it been your game achieved something, we would all be celebrating, right? But your game achieved nothing, bro. Three hours campaign? You kidding me right now? All those seconds are saying multiplayer is a little bit fun, but bruh, I mean, bruh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that This is where the story gets deep, okay? Uh, Charlie until like this week, Fortnite launch, an entire new season, a Lego mode, a racing mode, and a festival mode. Call of Duty only added a new map to Warzone. Hopefully, Call of Duty can find new ways to bring content beyond the VR style gameplay in the years ahead. First of all, I gotta say, bro, I clap up for these seconds out here, dog. I mean, 3,000 devs are not enough, right? And everybody's just like going off right now. Uh, Skizzalex says that, Call of Duty devs right now. Bruh. Then we have, everybody's just going off. Y'all trash Call of Duty, dude. That's last time. It did something similar, though. That's a toxic gamer. New Battle Royale maps on Call of Duty starting to feel less and less exciting. And on this thread, like, look at this. Call of Duty devs right here. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Everybody's just going out right now. Uh, the reaction means he was right, and now they in their feels about it, lol. And yeah, the 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 Black Ops 2024 leak out. Uh, we all know it's gonna be Gulf War, but alongside that, Tom Henderson, Insider Gaming, is also leaking the fact that exclusive original Call of Duty Warzone map Verdansk is set to return in 2024. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Jake like he quickly says that, well, Call of Duty watching Fortnite like, because yeah, even Fortnite brought it back. And I mean, that's not necessarily too bad though. But but then, I mean, we are also hearing so many content creators are getting hit uh, by Shadow Ben. Maybe they were cheating, maybe not. I'm not sure, but a lot of people are saying they're getting banned after playing season one in Call of Duty. I wanna know your thoughts on it. And this is what the homie proceeds said. Roll Buddy, it. welcome back to the channel. Today, I'd like to talk about an exclusive story that released earlier today on Insider Game. I'll put a link in the description below. It's surrounding Verdansk and how it's allegedly supposed to return in 2024 with yeah. Treyarch's next title. Yo, lame or bruh yeah. or W though. I wanna know your thoughts on it though. It's coming with the next Black Ops game. I don't think it's a secret, but the community's been clamoring for the return of Verdansk in Warzone yeah, true, in some true. way, shape, or form. And when it was revealed that there would be parts of Verdansk throughout the Modern Warfare 3 campaign, I immediately, and many other people immediately thought that it would probably come back at some point. Insider Gaming states that if Call of Duty continues its annual trend of late October to early November releases, it suggests that Verdansk is set to return in December of 2024. While the details are still unclear on the exact release date of the map, they are big lucky, man. They are lucky right now that GTA 6 is not coming out by the end of 2024. I'm pretty sure they must be throwing like uh, big parties down. They must be getting busy. They must be like celebrating. They must be installing more cameras in their public bathroom right Bruh. now. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Trying to catch Coochie because, like, dog, if GTA 6 release in 2024, bro, I, I they did the same thing with, like, when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out. Black Ops 4 ended up releasing out a month early in October. I'm not sure if you guys were around that time or not, but they did release it a month early because of Red Dead, Red, Red, Dead, <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2. And we're talking about GTA 6. It's a different monster, bro. It's a different game altogether. Whenever that game comes out, you're gonna see Sega's not even released. And I'm gonna say, I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're Insomniac, Santa Monica, Christopher Judge, uh, I, I love you, for especially, I mean, I always loved your performance, but after this uh, performance you gave at the Game Awards, you cannot top this one! This Dunzo, Fineto, Ganzo, okay? Call of Duty Ganzo after this one. I, th this was the peak though. This was the peak, but I don't care who you is, bruh. I don't care if you're Santa Monica, <laughs> Insomniac. Bro, when Rockstar Game drops their game, it's Joe over for everybody. Do not drop your game within the same time as GTA 6, at least for the two months. Or are you guys saying more? Should it be longer than that? Should it be less? Should it be two months? I want to know your thoughts on it. It's understood that the current plan is to follow the traditional Warzone main map release schedule and have Verdansk return as part of Black Ops Gulf War Season mm. 1. Shortly after yeah. this article released, Charlie Intel stated that they've also heard similar information and Verdansk will return. Insider Gaming went on to mention that due to ongoing development, it's unclear which season the map will be based on. One Bruh. source implied that it will be a fan <laughs> favorite season, but the exact details are murky. 
I'm pretty curious yeah, how this is going to work as well, especially considering for the past couple of- I mean, not a terrible news per se, it's just the Call of Duty devs are getting big mad, and surely, like, we had this massive leak about the Black Ops 2024 returning to Black Ops. We had images leak out last year. Today, uh, we're, or not today, but last month we heard it's gonna be Gulf War. It's also gonna have zombies. Some remaster maps like WMD is gonna come back. You know that DLC one map, uh, I believe, uh, uh, from Black Ops 2. Yay, grind. Uh, that's what it says. Grind from Black Ops 2 is gonna make a comeback. Zombies is gonna come back as well. And we're also hearing that zombies might be a pre order bonus where it might release like a couple of weeks early oh, shit. Oh, shit. if you pre order the game. I mean, this is good news. And um, as somebody who's a Call of Duty uh, Call of Duty fan. I've been a fan. I didn't buy Modern Warfare 3 because the game sucks, guys. Uh, maybe not to you, okay? Subjectively, it sucks for me. This is why I didn't buy. You know, you always heard that. You hate it. Don't buy it. I didn't buy this year, okay? Bruh. Simple as that. But some suckers are saying it's actually pretty good. But whatever. All I'm saying here is that... And I'm hoping that next year game is good, okay? I'm just hoping it's good. But these devs are just so in their feelings right now. I, I hope... If you're a Call of Duty dev, Brad, just stop getting in your feelings, bro. Make something good. Make a banger. Trek, we're hearing they're gonna have full, full four years developmental time by the time this, this next Black Ops game releases. So I surely wanna see this game do like some crazy numbers, not because it's Call of Duty, but because it's good. Like the video if you agree. Click on this video on the screen because some journalists are getting big mad. They're trying to cancel GTA 6. If you've seen this gameplay, Oh, or if you've seen this video, on the left, I got GTA 6 gameplay where a Rockstar dev talks about the gameplay uh, and he breaks down the trailer, talks about what various gameplay, what's gameplay, what's trailer, what's cinematic, what's in-game. He breaks it down. Check out both of these videos and I will see you right there.